Hello Guardians, Boltzilla Plays here bringing you another Destiny video. It is Wednesday, June 15th, and we know what Wednesday means, it is Arms Day. So let's see what Banshee brought for us this week. First up, we have the Thesen FR4 Fusion Rifle. Tier 1, comes with Candle IS-2, or Torch HS-2, Replenish, Single point sling, or oiled frame, life support, or exhumed. Tier 2 is Spark IS-6, or Torch HS-2, Army of One, Single point sling, or injection mold, underdog, or exhumed. And tier 3 is Candle IS-2, or Torch HS-2, Army of One, Snapshot, hand laid stock, unflinching, or exhumed. I definitely recommend if you have the space and everything and have the patience to sit on this and hope for something, a good roll with like accelerated coils on it to f speed up that charge rate. This gun is amazing, but like it's a slower charge rate, so if you're not good at pre charging it, before coming around the corner to hit people and everything, it's best to have try to get accelerated coils on it. And then something for stability or like a range finder type thing. Um, if you don't have the patience or you need something this week, you know, your best bet's gonna probably be this third one here. You got Torch HS2, which is a really good uh, combat sights. Army of One isn't bad for if you use your grenades melee a lot. You can go snapshot or hand laid stock. So hand laid stock maxes out the stability, but you take a hit to the range. And then unflinching or exhumed. Yeah, that's the one. Next up we have the Kuma Katak HC4 hand cannon. Tier 1 comes with Fast Draw IS, Quick Draw IS, or True Sight IS. Third eye. Lightweight or Braced Frame, Rescue Mag, or Eye of the Storm. Tier 2 has Fast Draw IS, Steady Hand IS, or True Sight IS, Mulligan, Extended Mag, or Rifled Barrel, Triple Tap, or Eye of the Storm. Tier 3 has Fast Draw IS, Steady Hand IS, or Sure Shot IS, Third Eye, Snapshot, or Brace Frame, Rescue Mag, or Exhumed. Tier, the second one is going to be your best bet, the Tier 2. Um, so you can go whichever one you're really comfortable with. They don't make much of a difference on the base stats. Just up it slightly changes the stability or reload. You got mulligan, so if you miss a shot, you have a chance to get it back. Then you can go either extended mag, so if you want more than 9, I think it brings it up to 11. And then our rifle barrel, which rifle barrel would probably be the one I'd go with. 9 is a decent for a hand cannon if you can hit your shots. And then also you might get some of them back with mulligan, so you technically probably have a bigger magazine than 9. And that and then it helps your range this thing is hurting on range so then you can either go triple tap which is more of a PVE feature so three precision hits will give you one more back and then or eye of the storm so it becomes more accurate the health when your health gets lower so I'd, that's the one I'd lean towards when if you take this into PvP Next up, we have the Ladimelia D Pulse Rifle. Tier 1 has GB Iron, or LD Watchdog. Army of 1, Counterbalance, Snapshot, Speed Reload, or Reinforced Barrel. Tier 2 has GB Iron, or SD Thermal. Last Resort, Zen Moment. High caliber rounds, fitted stock, or hand laid stock. T1 
Tier 3 as GA Post or SD Thermal, Head Seeker, Range Finder, Snapshot, Fitted Stock, or Hand Laid Stock. I would definitely wait on this one. Hang on to it and wait for something better. Um, there's some decent rolls here, but they're missing stuff. So, like, the Tier 1 has the thing you really want, which is Counterbalance, but everything else kind of sucks. So there's no other stability perks on this. So it's going to kick just as much as before, but it's going to be more of a straighter line. Which, if you can handle that, isn't bad. I mean, Harmonier 1 isn't bad. If you get kills, you get grenade melee back. But just, it doesn't have any... Counterbalance is, like, the only selling point on that one. And then Tier 3 has got a great roll, but it's missing Counterbalance. To string that up, so it's gonna still kick up into the left. So it's got head seeker with since it fires an additional projectile, might be helpful. So you hit a couple body shots and then hit a head shot. You got range finder to help the range, and then you have hand laid stock, which will bring your stability up a good amount. So it won't kick as much, but it'll still kick up into the left. So it's a toss up between it, but this one's got more overall better perks on the gun. So like I said, I would wait if this instead of range finder had like counterbalance, this would be like a god roll right here. Otherwise, I would wait if you can. Next up, we have the Suros PDX 41 pulse rifle. Tier 1 comes with SLO 19, SPO 26, or SPO 57. Perfect balance. Or oiled frame, take a knee, snapshot, or hand laid stack. Tier 2 has the SLO 19, SPL 26, or SPL 57, hammer forged, or casket mag, full auto, single point sling, or reinforced barrel. Tier 3 has the SLO, SLO 12, SPO 28, or the SRO 37, Hammer Forged, or Oiled Frame, Take a Knee, Speed Reload, or Reinforced Barrel. Uh, pass. Save this one for something better. Uh, if you gotta get something this week, there are, it's all kind of a toss up, but. I'm thinking two is probably your best bet. It's got flaw. Taking E is kind of a worthless perk <laughs> with the way Destiny's played. So, I mean, you get you can do hammer forged, full auto, and single point sling. So you can switch and you move quicker while aiming. You got the full auto. You get range and accuracy. You don't really want to go much with reinforced barrel or cast just because it hurts the stability. You don't want to hurt the stability too much on this gun. This would, if this had a stability perk on it, this would be the go-to out of these three choices. Like I said, I'd, I'd wait until next week and see what comes. Yeah, that's good. Last up, we have the Azume RR4 Sniper Rifle. Tier 1 comes with Corvo SS2, or Falcon SS1, Army of 1, Quick Draw, or Reinforced Barrel, Clown Cartridge, or Eye of the Storm. Tier 2 has the Corvo SS2 or the Falcon SS1, Triple Tap, Quick Draw or Casket Mag, Life Support or Mulligan. Tier 3 has the Apeki SS2 or the Falcon SS1, Performance Bonus, Single Point Sling, or Injection Mold, Clown Cartridge, or Eye of the Storm. Tier 3 all the way. Performance bonus is great, so when you get kills you have a chance to get more ammo, bonus ammo. Clown Cartridge, so when you reload you have the chance of having a larger number of magazine. And then you can either go with single point swing, so switch in between it and you move faster. Or you can do Injection Mold if you're Really, since it's a higher rate of fire one, popping off shots right after each other to try to get 
it backed down to aiming at the person faster. And it's got the a low zoom sight, which is definitely needed. <laughs> Field test weapons for this week. We have the Hake Test A Auto Rifle, which you have to use against Fallen. We have the Amalon Test HC1 Hand Cannon, which you use against Vex. We have the Suros TSR-10 Rocket Launcher, which you use against high-ranking enemies. So that's Majors, Yellow Bars. Then the Suros TSR-10 Rocket Launcher again. This one you have to use in the Crucible. And the Amalon Test RR-1 Sniper Rifle. To use against falling captains. So not that bad this week for test weapons. So Vex, just go to Venus or Mars patrol, kill them. This one I just would keep equipped while you're doing everything else. And when you run into major, use the rocket to kill them. Fallen targets and falling captains, moth yards. To have these both equipped at the same time, there's three captains that can spawn in the moth yards. Two of them are in caves, the other one's in the entrance towards the Skywatch right in front of it, and then as you're waiting for those to spawn, you can go around killing the other Fallen with the auto rifle. Foundry orders for next week. We have the Hake Zeranea D auto rifle, the Suros DIS-43 scout rifle, the Suros JLB-47 rocket launcher, the Hake Oif Rao D sniper rifle, and the Amlan Zume RR-4 sniper rifle. Um, Get the rocket if you don't have a decent rocket yet, or if you're still looking for a better rocket that's got tracking or grenades and horseshoes. This has got a really good velocity and blast radius base stats on it. If you can get javelin or heavy payload on it, it's even better. Uh, DIS-43 is a pretty good scout. If you get something with like full auto and some stability on it, it's a pretty good guide roll. The Zeranea D auto rifle is a... It's... If they... I don't know how it's affected. It might be better now that they kind of nerf the highest rate of fire auto rifles, like the Doctor and everything. This might be more usable. But before, with the highest rate, of it just shadowed this. So this one actually might be useful now that they kind of nerfed the highest rate of fire. But this one is more... This one, I think it's like base sets are kind of similar to like the Monte Carlo. The, the snipers are, are just get them if you want a sniper, uh, a moss sniper, because this is a low impact, high rate of fire, and this is the middle ground one. So there's no high impact ones out of this. And the perks are never really good on the hockey one. Just the way it's set up to roll it doesn't really give it a chance for a god roll. So I'd say rocket for sure if you need one, and then the auto and the scout would be the go-tos if you have to limit it down to a certain number. So that was Banshee's Arms Day stock for June 15th. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know your thoughts on the roles he brought this week, what you're looking forward to next week. If you got any other helpful tips for where to use the field test weapons. And you can check out my other videos at youtube.com slash C slash plays. And you can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash plays. Till next time, Guardians. Take it easy. Thank you.